Welcome to Tiki Mind's presentation on how to use Smashing VCA to improve study skills and motivation at VCA. My name is James Pinnock and today I'm going to be taking you through how you can use our guide on study skills to teach students to know what study is, to create effective study goals, to use strategies to achieve study goals and to plan and monitor their progress towards those study goals. The first thing I want to emphasize in this presentation is that Smashing VCE is all about explicitly teaching kids how to study effectively. We know that explicit instruction is a highly effective uh, approach to teaching. About 10 years ago, Professor John Hattie released a book called Visible Learning for Teachers in which he ranked influences on learning and education. He ranked influences into a few different categories. Influences that had a low impact and influences which had a high impact. And we now know that things like feedback, uh, things like space practice, mastery learning, all have a high impact upon student learning. Here we can see that metacognition is one of the high impact teaching strategies. In fact, it's one of the 10 high impact teaching strategies that Department of Education is focusing on in Victoria at the moment. Uh, they've released a program where they want teachers to focus on these 10 high impact teaching strategies. Um, and we can see that metacognitive strategies is down in the bottom row. I'm focusing on metacognitive strategies because this is about kids thinking about their thinking, thinking about what they're learning and what they need to do next. And this is at the heart of study skills. What do I need to know? What do I need to do uh, to, to, to get better at these things? And we can see here that under metacognitive strategies, teaching study skills has a huge impact upon students' learning. A book like Smashing VC teaches kids how to study. It gives kids tools, it gives kids guidance, it gives them worked examples uh, that help them uh, come up with uh, effective study goals and study processes and study times for themselves. We're suggesting that you can use Smashing VC as the heart of a highly effective explicit study skill program. If every kid uh, in your cohort of year 11 or year 12 kids has a copy of uh, Smashing VCA, there's a tremendous opportunity to work through study skills uh, throughout the year. We know that um, going away on study camps with kids at the start of the year or at the end of the year can have some impact, but not nearly as much impact as working on study skills when kids need it. Each lesson, each week, um, every term throughout the year. Smashing VC um, is the heart of an, a, an effective explicit study skill program because it can show kids how to set study goals. Um, it can introduce them to different study uh, strategies and give kids examples about how these study strategies actually worked. And since this whole book is set up just for VCA, it gives them highly specific strategies, unlike other uh, study material kids come across which is not uh, directly about VCA. We're suggesting that a study skill program that can be the most effective is one that is run throughout the year. And where kids have a copy of uh, Smashing VCA, it means that regularly when you have your year level assemblies, you know, once a month, once every couple of weeks, um, different heads of department can share strategies from Smashing VCA. How would you go about using some of these strategies in maths? How would you go about using some of these strategies in English? And as a year level, you can have three or four study strategies that you're focusing on per term. And kids get to know those really well and they get to know how to use each of those uh, um, study strategies uh, in class. Smashing VCE can be used as a resource to roll out a study skills program in your form group or your home group or your uh, connect group. If your form teacher or your home group teacher looks at a different study strategy every week or every couple of weeks and get kids to share examples and have a go uh, um, coming up with ways they can use these strategies for their classes and that happens consistently throughout the year, that will make much more impact 
fan one study skills session at the end of the year or one study school session at a retreat camp. Of course, once kids have got a copy of Smashing VCE, teachers, individual teachers of, in, of individual subjects, biology, health and human development, psychology, legal studies, can use Smashing VCE to show their kids how to use some of these strategies for the specific content and specific skills of that subject that's happening right now. In a nutshell, Smashing VCE is designed to be used continuously throughout the year as a part of an ongoing study skills program where kids are constantly thinking about how to use these skills as they need them as opposed to an approach where kids get one study skills session at the start of the year and then never think about that stuff um, ever again. Okay. The first um, part of uh, Smashing VCA is dedicated to making it clear to kids what study actually is. A lot of kids confuse study and homework. But in the first few pages, Smashing VCA make it, makes it really clear to kids that homework is the stuff that teachers give you. Okay, it's the work that they give to the whole class. It's the minimum amount of work that everyone in the class needs to do to be prepared for the SAC, to be prepared for the exam, to finish off uh, the coursework. And every kid gets the same homework because that's what the whole class needs to do to uh, prepare um, or to pass uh, the unit. Study is different. And this is the thing that Smashing VCA really stresses to kids. Study is set by the individual teacher. Uh, so, sorry, study is set by the individual student. It's where the student works out, what do I need to know better or what do I need to do better, and what strategy can I employ to get better at that uh, or, to, or to know that better. Kids routinely think homework and study is the same thing. So we ask them, do you have any study? No. And what they mean is, no, I haven't got any homework. I'm up, to, I'm up to date with homework. Do you have any study? The answer should always be yes, because there are always things that we can improve. There are always things that we can get better at. So Smashing VC starts by making it clear to kids that study is something that kids need to drive themselves and there should always be something that they can study. Smashing VC can work really effectively at the start of the year if every kid has a copy and you run a combined student-parent study session. And kids can go through their booklet and it can start by making it clear to students and parents uh, that study is something that students should be driving themselves. So parents are really clear how effective study should be working for their students. And they can understand the role that they can play in supporting their students uh, to study effectively. By going through some of the elements of Smashing VC at the start of the year and showing parents what effective uh, study looks like, parents can be more effective uh, support, um, supporters uh, throughout the year for the kids as they study. For example, they can be clear about saying what homework have you got versus what study do you think you can do? What are some things that you're having trouble with? What are some things that you can better understand? So what study? What's some study goals that you can set yourselves? So effective study starts with having effective study goals. So after smashing VCA makes it clear to kids what a study is um, versus what homework is, then it steps them through how to come up with very specific, very effective study goals. These are things uh, that you can do with kids at the start of the year, but um, setting effective study goals is something that kids will also need to revisit throughout the year. You know, the more they go through the course, the more that they'll need to think um, what I know, what I don't know, what I can do, what I can't do, and they need to continue to revise their goals. But they can start the year by setting some study goals. For kids, study goals are often really, really big and so big that they don't know um, where to get started. These are the types of goals on the left-hand side that kids will often set themselves. And what they really are is achievement goals or 
outcome goals. You know, I want to pass VC or I want to get into this course or I want to get this particular uh, study score or I want to do better uh, than last year. And these are all great goals, but they're big achievement goals. They're not really study goals because they're not specific enough. A lot of kids don't get started with, with study because their goals are too big and too vague and seem insurmountable or unachievable. Smashing VCE steps kids through how to set goals which are smaller and more realistic. So we're not setting ourselves a gargantuan task like this small boy um, trying to uh, lift this massive weight. Set small, specific and achievable goals. So smashing VCE looks at we might start with big outcome goals and then we might break that big outcome goal down into a smaller achievement goal about how I want to um, achieve in each of my subjects. But then it breaks that subject achievement goal down into even more specific goals. What am I doing well? What, am I, what aren't I doing well? What do I need to know better specifically in each subject and specifically about each topic? In English, I need to better understand how the symbol works um, in, this, uh, in this text. In psychology, I need to get better at doing uh, these types of reports or these types of written answers. So Smashing VC looks at how we can break big achievement goals down to small achievement goals and finally into very specific goals about things that we need to know better and do better in each of our subjects. At the start of the year, kids might fill out section one and two, but throughout the year, in form class or in home group or in year level assemblies, kids can flip over their planners and look at step three and keep refining their goals. What is the unit that we're working on at the moment? What specifically do I need to know better? What specifically do I need to get better at for this particular unit, for this particular topic in this, um, in this subject? The more specific the goals are, the better kids are at working out um, what they don't know or what they can't do, the more likely they are to get started with study. So this works very effectively the more kids do this throughout the year. So doing an approach um, where kids consistently um, set themselves goals every week in home group or form group um, means that kids will get better at setting goals, particularly if there's constant modeling um, from the form group teacher and there's constant sharing amongst kids of goals. Um, and it means that they're setting study goals continuously throughout the year, they're setting them they're refining them, suddenly they've got a very specific place to start with study. So it's not some big, vague, insurmountable goal, like I want to get 50 out of 50 as a study score for this subject. It's a very specific thing that they need to know better or get better at, and uh, that gives them a, a very clear um, starting point. These are some examples, and it's these types of examples um, that Smashing VC shares and the more teachers can use a resource like Smashing VC throughout the year, the better kids um, will get at, at sharing these, uh, at um, developing goals like this themselves. One of the things kids uh, routinely say is, I just don't get it. Um, but uh, kids will always get something or they'll always be able to do part of a, a task, they'll always get um, part of a topic. Okay, it's not everything that they can't do, it's not everything that they don't understand. One of the things that we can do as teachers um, to help kids set more specific study goals is to look at their textbooks and the type of um, checklists and overviews that textbooks have at the start of their chapters or the end of the chapters and get them to go through and tick off which of these things do you know or which of these things um, can you do Okay, so it's actually this specific thing that you don't know, or it's this specific thing that you're having problems with. Okay, it's these aspects of the topic that you don't quite understand. Okay, that becomes your specific study goal. Okay, so step three 
is something that uh, kids would come back to um, continuously throughout the year. Okay, so we can use Smashing VCE to teach kids to, to, um, to set very specific study goals. And once they've done that, they need to identify strategies they can use to achieve uh, these goals. And Smashing VCE has a whole range of strategies. And one of the ways we can use this resource is to look at a different strategy every week or uh, to look at three or four strategies each term. And we can keep sharing examples about how to use these so kids get more familiar with the strategies and they get more confident in being able to use them independently uh, to achieve whatever um, study goals they have. Um, so Smashing VCE looks at strategies to help us better understand things, to better remember things, to uh, do things uh, better, and it also has a section uh, which is dedicated to uh, study strategies for specific subjects. So often kids have in their minds a picture of study as something long and boring. And the problem with this is that they're measuring study in time. Tonight I'm going to study for three hours or I'm going to pull an all-nighter or I'm going to cram for this subject. And of course study seems so boring if that's how they think about it. But the thing that Smashing VCE emphasizes to kids is that where you've got an effective specific study goal and where you find the right uh, strategy to help you achieve that goal, study might only take five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes. There's so much more you can achieve in a study session which is driven by a specific goal with the right strategy than you can achieve in a study session that goes for hours and hours and hours where there isn't really a goal and there isn't any type of strategy beyond I'm just going to um, randomly underline things. So that's very exciting. You know, we're more likely to get kids studying when they've got a goal, when they've got a strategy, and they know that they can do this effectively in perhaps a short period of time. So they're not measuring study by time, they're measuring study by goals uh, achieved. Smashing VCA looks first at strategies to help students understand. Uh, so it's got about uh, 10 pages um, dedicated to different strategies. For example, one of the basic things it looks at is how we can uh, reread our textbooks and annotate them effectively. Not just annotate things randomly, not just um, highlight everything, but how we can annotate the information that we actually need in a critical way. We can underline things like this. We can put uh, rectangle bra brackets around things like this. We can take the information that uh, we annotate and we can uh, reduce it into a smaller number of sentences. So Smashing VC particularly emphasizes the need to be active about transforming information we underline or highlight into re a reduced uh, summarized form. Simply underlining or highlighting things isn't effective in itself. Kids need to do something more than that. So they can take information they annotate and they can summarize it. Or they can take information that they annotate and they can turn it into flowcharts. So Smashing VC shares a number of different flowcharts with kids and looks at how they can dual code. Take information from one code, a written form, and code it into another form. A visual form which has two impacts firstly it means that kids have to really understand the content to code it in a different visual form secondly it means that they're much more likely to recall the information when they've coded it in both written and visual form so smashing VCE uh, looks at how kids uh, can code information as flowcharts and it also shares a range of examples of charts of different T charts that kids can chunk or, or summarize information into. It looks at how kids can take information that they annotate and explain it to someone else and it looks at a range of other um, strategies kids can employ to better understand things. 
So in a effective study program, you know, for one term, you might focus on strategies to better understand things or a few specific strategies to, to better understand things. And you might be getting teachers within classes or form group teachers or at assemblies. You might be getting heads of department to be constantly sharing examples about how you can use some of these strategies in their class. So kids are constantly being exposed to models of how they can uh, study effectively on their own. That will make much more impact than isolated study sessions um, at the start of the year. So Smashing VCE also looks at um, strategies to remember things. Kids might have a goal um, that I need to better understand this, but we can get them to be more specific and perhaps it's not just better understand, but it's, better under uh, it's to better understand this and to be able to remember it. You know, what are the things that I need to remember. Smashing VC looks at spacing, at how when we space out our study sessions, when we do some five to 10 minutes of, of memory practice uh, regularly, that makes much more impact than chunks of hours and hours, not very often. You know, spacing has a, a big impact upon our capacity to remember things. And it shares um, a range of other strategies about um, how we can remember things. One of which is self-testing. You know, when we've read through some content, how can we ask ourselves these questions? How can we come up with a series of questions and test our own recall? Or how, in group study sessions, can we test each other about our recall of content? So there's strategies to remember things, there's strategies to better understand things, there's strategies to be able to do things better. For example, um, in all VC subjects for exams, you're going to have to do things in a certain amount of time for your SAC um, or for your exam. So Smashing VC looks at how we can use um, different types of study strategies for different lengths of time to practice, um, to practice timed skills. For example, for five or so minutes, we might do a really hard task, a type of justify task or evaluate task that we get at the end of a legal studies or business management um, exam. And then we might go to an easy task, then back to a hard task and then to a medium task. This is also called um, interleaving, okay? We can do some really hard uh, maths questions and then some easy questions, then some hard questions and again, and then uh, back to some medium or easier questions. You know, study can often seem really hard and boring because we're doing the same one hard thing again and again and again. But when we rotate between different skill practice, um, we get better at those skills by alternating the practice, by doing a little micro spacing out, and um, we relieve uh, some of the boredom. These are the types of easy, medium, and hard tasks that kids might rotate between um, in their different subjects. Okay, Smashing VCE also shares a range of subject specific study strategies. For example, on pages 36 to 38, it has a range of checklists that help kids come up with very specific um, goals for English. So not just I need to get better at essay writing, I need to get better at using these types of words or uh, using these types of examples or writing these types of sentences. So in terms of us setting uh, specific study goals, pages 36 to 38 will really help with English. On pages 39 to 55, Smashing VCE contains a whole range of instruction words. The types of words that kids routinely get at the start of exam tasks. So for business management, on page 42, it lists the words define, explain, identify, describe, discuss, refer to, outline. All of these are the words that go at the start of kids' tasks in their exam. One of the things this section talks about is how kids can read through content um, in a chapter and set their own instruction tasks. So if they're reading through a bit about change management policy in their section from business management, 
uh, they can set themselves a task. Define what change, um, what change management is. They can set themselves a harder task. Outline an example of change management. They can set themselves an even harder task. Evaluate whether this change management approach is better or whether this change management process is better. On pages 59 to 62, uh, Smashing VCE also provides lists of um, specific types of vocabulary that can be used to respond uh, to certain types of exam tasks. So for example, when you get the task provide an example, Smashing VC gives a whole range of types of words you can use in a provide an example response. You know, words like for instance, or proof of this, or such as, or shown through. You know, when you get the task evaluate, you can use words like most, better, greatest, or important, essential, critical. So kids can practice instruction tasks and use the vocab lists on page 59 through to 62 to help them shape better responses. On pages 56 to 58 will be a range of specific strategies for studying maths because it's slightly different to other subjects. Okay, so kids set specific goals, they identify a strategy that helps them achieve those goals and they figure out when they're gonna do this. So Smashing VCE also includes a planner set up uh, specifically to help them plan study. Unlike um, traditional high school planners, which are just diaries, Smashing VCE on each page of the planner section gets kids to separate out what homework they need to do from what is their study goals. And then it gives them um, a template for organizing their time in terms of study. So it starts with kids going through um, and filling out the left-hand page, what homework, what study have I got? And then on the right-hand page for the organizer, they think about, okay, what's all the stuff that I've got to do? All the real, um, you know, all the th things which are important to my life, you know? We fill in roller skating or watching TV or working or playing sport or catching up with these friends. We put in our social engagements um, and then we figure out, okay, this is where I'm going to do study or this is where I'm going to do study, including figuring out how they're going to use their school study sessions if they're in year 12 so they don't, don't go to waste. So unlike traditional planners, Smashing VCE is set up um, to help kids work out what their goals are and where specifically over the course of a day they're going to uh, implement um, their study sessions. Smashing VC um, is now available. Um, it comes uh, with the planner for $29.95. There's also an addition without planner. So um, if you want kids uh, to access um, all the information about setting goals and picking strategies, but you think your school already has a good planner, you might go with the um, without planner option and it's $19.95. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. We hope you consider uh, using Smashing VCA with your students.